happy Sunday. It is a beautiful sunny day here in Chicago. And I hope that wherever you're watching this video at, it's just as beautiful there. Um, don't mind my voice. I was out for a birthday celebration. That's why I look like crap. But, um, yeah, we're going to jump right into it. A lot of you all um, said I went a little too fast in my first video and there was no talking. So, with this one, I'm going to do more of a step-by-step -step or try to so that you guys can kind of, you know, get the gist of what I'm doing. Okay, so first I start off with my brows and I am going to outline my arch with this. Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Wiz and Dark Brown. And it also comes with a spoolie at the end too. So I'm going to start off by brushing my brows. So they're all going in one direction. And that's a very important step for me because my eyebrows are like all over the place. So yeah. And then I'm just going to outline them in the arch that I want them to take on. Next, I'm going to um, just fill them in a little bit. Not too much because my eyebrows are already dark, as you can see. So, I don't want to do too much, but I'm going to fill them in with this brow pomade, dip brow pomade by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it is in chocolate. This is what the top looks like when you go to look for it. Awesome stuff. This is awesome stuff, but, oh, and this is their duo brow pencil, I mean, um, angled brow brush, I'm not a professional anyway, so this is what it is, okay? And I am just going to gently fill them in, because I have brows, okay, no offense, but no, I don't need to do all of that. going to clean them up um sorry it's hard to try to look here so it looks like i'm looking at you guys but then my eyes drift to here so just know i'm still looking at you if i'm not looking at you um i'm going to clean up um around them with this la girl pro conceal and this is the color toffee so in my other video, I said it was toast, but regardless, they're at the beauty supply store. Inexpensive, they work wonders. Like, I have other concealers, but I always find myself going back to these. Like, they're awesome, and you'll see more of them throughout this tutorial. Um, so, I'm just gonna, and I'm using this MAC 242 brush to do it. And I'm just cleaning up. Um, I Some people like using um, concealers that's lighter under here for a brow highlight. I don't. Um, just because it doesn't really look right on me. So I try to stick to a concealer that is my color. Close to my color for my brows. Because I don't like the highlight. And to be quite honest, I really don't like doing brow highlights, period, on me. I don't know. It just makes my skin look weird. It makes me look like a weirdo. Okay? And I don't like it. There. I said it. Yep, so just cleaning up so it's more of an art. Shh. 
um, if some of the things are sped up like this, my brow tutorial, uh, brow tutorial, um, like going through my brows is because I plan on doing a thorough brow tutorial for you guys. Um, to where you don't have to keep reverting back to this video to see it. I'll just do one that's strictly brows if you want one. If you don't want one. Okay. Beauty Blender. Yeah, I know it's dirty. Sorry. Now I'm going to head to the face. I am going to take this MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. And I'm going to spray that to prep my face. People be trying to look cute doing this. I do not. <laughs> Now, usually I just stick with that, but today I think I'm going to do another primer. Um, I'm going to use this Dewy Primer from NYX. It's NYX Honey Do Me Up. Yeah, and shout out to my girl for putting me up on this this stuff is like awesome so yeah I'm just gonna take a handful of that and it's really like it's like sticky feeling yep I'm just gonna rub that in here and all of that Okay, so I'm going back in with the Toffee Concealer, and now I'm going to use the, um, the Orange Corrector from the same line, LA Girl. And I'm using the Toffee one to hit my red marks on my face. And then the orange corrector is going to take care of my dark circles under eyes. Mm And then I'm just going to take the Beauty Blender and blend it out. <laughs> I'm going to take my foundation. It's the L'Oreal Paris True Match foundation in the color cream cafe and I'm taking this um, brush from Sephora number 45 mineral powder brush and I don't know I don't know how I feel about full coverage I guess I do do full coverage I don't know I thought it all was full coverage but I guess it ain't Oh yeah, I'm just putting some brows here. Yep. And now I'm going to take it and do circular motions. I 
guys to see, but I try to, um, especially in the summertime because I get really tan, I try to get a foundation that's a shade darker than my skin complexion. This one, I don't know. I don't think it is. But I'm not doing, I just, you saw me do it in this video a little bit, but I just can't do the neck thing. Can't do the neck thing. And so I'm just taking my beauty blender and, you know, getting all the spots that the brush missed. So now I'm going to go to the eyes. Um, it's a really laid back day. I'm not going to do anything crazy at all. I'm not. Um, so I'm going to put in my crease sap, ooh, saddle by MAC and it is this really like pretty tannish brownish color I'm going to put that in my crease with this um, Sigma brush it's the E25 blending brush and I'm just going to take that and apply that in my crease now in the last video I did have tape. Um, you can use tape. You can't, but like when I want like a a really defined line, I use tape. When I want it crisp. Today I'm like, mm, you know, it is what it is. And blend, 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 blend. Make sure you blend. Don't get lazy and be like, okay, I'm done. No. You think you're done? Blend some more. I'm going to go to my eyeliner. I might do a little winged eye. I don't want to get too crazy on y'all and I mess up. But i um, been using this NYC um, liquid eyeliner in extreme black. Don't know how I really feel about it. Um, now I'm going to say this, okay? Because this is one of my pet peeves. If your eye... Your cat eye isn't like, you know, where you where it needs to be, where you want it to be. Start over. Okay, it should not be a circle at the end. It should not be like, mm -hmm. no, it should be a triangle or sharp. Now watch how I mess up after I done talked all that mess. But I'm just taking it. Um, yep, really slow. And I'm just drawing it out like that. I don't know. And I'm bringing it back in like that. <laughs> and I'm just filling it in. Go ahead and act right for this video. I liner. Oh, can y'all see so yeah. It'll do. <laughs> it's like this side always is my best side to where it's like, yes, 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 yes. And then this side is like, no, 
No. Now, I told you all I wasn't doing falsies, and I'm not. But, um, so, I got this. This je Jelly Pong Pong fair Fairy Lashes or Fairy Curl Lashes Mascara. I got this from my Ipsy bag, and I actually like it. I actually like it, you know. It's cool. So I'm going to be just applying that to my um, lashes, including my lower lashes. And be careful with how you apply, like, mascara. Because you don't want it to be, like, clumpy and, you know, like super like stuck together okay. I want to do like a smudge look after all under here so I'm just taking some like um, this is my um, eyeliner from elf it came in like a little gift thing for me um, with a little smudger brush at the end so yeah just taking it and smudge so after I apply the liner I'm just taking the brush at the opposite end and smudging it out smudging it out for like a <laughs> like the edgy look And now heading back to the face, I am using another LA Girl Pro Conceal color in medium beige. And this is for like my, a small highlight under the eyes. I don't like getting too crazy with it. But I do an upside down triangle. So you're going to do an upside down triangle on under each eye. Okay. And I mean, I'm not telling you to not apply as much as you want, but I don't like getting too crazy with it. Because this already look crazy, so. Mm -hmm. So the places I've hit most, well, that I only hit, um... Right here under my eyes, nose, forehead, chin. I'm going to take my beauty blender and just blend it out. to bake use this um benai banana powder and i'm just going to set this under the places that i just highlighted it
And I'm gonna take it off. <laughs> and dang. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. mineral powder brush to just dust it off. Okay? Usually Now, I am going to bronze up. I wouldn't really say it's contouring because I'm not using any contour powders. Um, I'm going to use this duo um, from NARS and the colors. The blush is... Orgasm blush and the bronzer is Laguna, Laguna bronzing powder, and I'm using this Sonia Kuku, Kusha, Kashu, sorry, one thirteen, looks like that, and I'm gonna take it and just hit. See the thing for me before I even put on any thing right here any bronzer I see my line see I have a permanent line so it's easy for me to like see where you know I want it to go get under here right here My nose. And then I'm going to take um, this Black Radiance bronzer and Ginger Snap. I'm just going to, you know, it has more of like a, a glow than the other one. And I'm just going to. I'm going to do blush and do highlight. So I'm going back in. I'm using the NARS Orgasm Blush. Um, this is like my favorite because it's not too much. Mm. Oh, and the brush I used for the blush is a MAC 129 brush and my highlight oh, I've been looking for highlights that like can really show up on my skin this is okay this is the closest I've come to it is the Becca um, Becca highlight so pretty and it is in the color opal. And I'm using this fan brush, Pro Fan 65 from Sephora. So I am just dabbing and just hitting the top. Ugh. You see, it's showing up. And then I'm just going to take a big old brush from Makeup Academy, MUA Professional, you get at CVS, and it's the 12 powder brush, and I'm just blending all of that in, especially on this side, because this side I'm going to carry it away with the highlight. Okay, the last thing is lips. I wasn't going to do um, a dramatic lip, but I think I am. This is Limbo from ColourPop. Oh, I love their Ultra Matte Lipsticks. Like, it is like awesome. You don't need a liner for this.
you can just take, um, I'm going to take that concealer brush I had in the beginning with that, um, well, I was going to use the Toffee Concealer, but I guess it's some on here, and I'm going to... So, this is the finished look. Another confession. So, I feel weird doing the whole, you know, but I mean, if you want it, I'll give it to you. I, I give it to you. Okay. Okay, this is the finished look, y'all. Uh, 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 uh. No, but this finish look really simple. Um, but I love this lip. Hmm. <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you like, comment, let me know what you want to see, what looks you want to see. And most importantly, honey, subscribe. Come on, queens subscribe okay all right thank you so much for tuning in i love you guys and thank you for going on this journey with me so talk to y'all later